Cheers. It's a rather warm day. Getting about 30 Celsius. But I've been out and about because I thought I'd have a bit of fun with some old lenses. Three in particular. I have the uh, Helios 44 2, which is a at a 58 mil and it's uh, an old Russian lens the one I've got is pretty average it's not absolutely spectacular and fine but it does have some interesting characteristics it's got two aperture rings one is stepped with all the markings and the other one is like a continuous open and shut ring so what I tend to do is leave it on f16 on the stepped ring and just open and close the sliding aperture ring to suit uh, the light conditions and of course it's famous for its swirly bokeh and uh, that's one of the things I'll be using as I try this lens the second lens I've got is an Olympus 28mm uh, f2.8 and I like it because uh, it is the wider angle of the old lenses I'm trying. Um, it's pretty, it, it doesn't have the quirks that the Helios has. It's, uh, it covers color pretty well. It tries to be very nice about everything it does. So it's not gonna be um, out there in any particular field, but uh, a very nice, smooth lens to use and this one's in pretty good nick the uh, focus ring is silky smooth very good indeed all these have adapters on them to fit my fuji films the third lens i'm going to try is the strangest one it's a cctv camera lens about the equivalent of a 25 mil and it's got a couple of quirks apart from its small size uh, the aperture is stepless goes from 1.4 through to C now the C I'll just show you that's wide open at 1.4 and you go down past F8 C is closed you can absolutely close the aperture of this lens up completely and then just open it a touch by touch by touch to let in the light you want or get the depth of field you want the other strange thing about this it's focus ring doesn't have distance measurements it simply says near and far so there you go three different lenses each with different characteristics and uh, kind of a bit of fun with them now why would I bother when I've got quite nice Fujifilm lenses. I've got the 56mm 1.2 which I use for portrait shots and it's a beautiful lens. Really I'm, I love it. Uh, however these are absolutely more fun. Probably because they're a bit more challenging. There's no automatic focus on these things. Everything you have to do. So the result coming in of your camera is totally up to you not uh, how fast your autofocus is or anything like that so these are just three of my um, old lenses or strange lenses that I use a lot on my Fujifilm cameras so um, and I do have some nice new Fujifilm gear like I've got the X100V which is nice I prefer using my X70 or even the uh, the XM1 they're just more fun There's, they're not as complex they don't have as the X70 doesn't have as many uh, capabilities as the X100V but for street shooting it has some advantages it's not as complex so it is easier to handle uh, it's not as big Okay, some people say, oh yeah, the X100, pocketable. <laughs> yeah, if you've got an army greatcoat on. Look at the size difference. 
X100, X70. Okay, the X70 kills it. So that will start some controversy. The X70 is a better street camera. How's that? Boom. The XM1 is also nice. It's a bit like uh, an interchangeable lens X70. So this is a lot of fun to use as well. Different generation sensors. So you get slightly different results out of all of them. The nice new stuff is nice. But I really do like the old stuff. Including old lenses. So check out the uh, video that I took with these three lenses and the still shots that I took with them and let me know in the comments what uses you make out of old film camera lenses or rather strange lenses with your Fujifilm gear okay enjoy okay first in the battle is the Helios 44.2 we'll have a look at some videos and stills so I'm at a very nice picnic ground along the uh, Linda Creek Road. Beautiful scenery, beautiful place. And filming with my XH1 and the Helios 44.2, which is all manual focus and uh, manual aperture. The country out here is magnificent. The views go for miles. As you can see, uh, it's a weekday, so there's not many people here. So I'm just trialing uh, this manual Helios lens. See what it's like with the stabilization of the X-H1. Manually focusing as I go. So this is the Helios 44.2, pretty much directly into the sun, at pretty much closest focal distance. And I'm just checking uh, how it goes and how the bokeh is in the background. How it handles all this rather difficult situation. It's all manual focus, so I'm adjusting focus as I go and checking out how the background looks as I go. There you go, what do you think? Second is the battle is this Takina 28mm for the Olympus and uh, f2.8. We'll see how that goes with videos and stills as well. Now, filming at the moment with the uh, Fujifilm XH1, the Olympus 28mm f2.8 lens. I'm filming at uh, f8 at the moment. And I'm somewhere on Mount Dandenong and there's a valley straight ahead of us and then another hill up top you can see. And I live just across the valley, so somewhere in there is my house. But uh, just thought I'd let you see a bit of what I'm surrounded with, the Australian bush. It's absolutely beautiful. And see how this uh, lens goes, the 28mm. Well, this is the Olympus 28mm f2.8 and I'm at closest focusing distance I'm trying to see how it handles shooting directly into the sun see what the boat goes like it doesn't have any quirks like the uh, Helios does the background bokeh is quite smooth uh, it's not distracting it's handling shooting into the sun pretty well so there you go that's the Olympus 28mm And lastly is this little beauty, the uh, CCTV 28mm and uh, this has stepless aperture 
from 1.4 all the way to C which is closed. We'll see how this looks on an APC system. Okay now I'm using the uh, CCTV 25mm lens. Again all manual focus, all manual everything and uh, just seeing what that's like. Things they are made for CCC cameras you would think they'd be okay for video. So what do you think? So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the three lenses in this video but also what you've experienced with using your old lenses on your Fujifilm systems. So whatever you do, pick up your camera, go for a walk and have fun. Ciao.